In this video, we are going to see how to include a list of references in LaTeX using the NatBib package. We have seen before how to use the site command and how to include information about all the items that we want to reference in our main text. We've seen that they come out in numbers in square brackets and they come sequentially in the list of references like this. As you might know, there are many different ways to format this list of references depending on which university you're on, on which company you work for, or which publisher you're going to use for your work. So the NatBib package helps us to fine-tune a little bit how all these things will look like. To use the NatBib package, we will include here the use package command right here in the beginning of our LaTeX file. And the NatBib, the package, we spell it like this. And there are many options for this package. We can begin with uh, a very uh, default options like this. We'll see a few different options later on in this video. As we are using the NatBib package, we can use the different styles in this bibliography. For example, we can use the plain NAT style, NAT from NatBib. So everything else stays the same in our uh, list of references and we can start by using the site command as well. Let's see how this look. Remember to build it twice when you're changing something in your bibliography. And we'll see that initially everything just looks the same in the references and also in the way that they look. One of the nicest things of NatPip is that it lets us use, instead of numbering system, the author year system for uh, referencing other works. To use that, instead of numbers here, we'll use the option author year. And to use that, we'll need to include also in our BIP item how we want to this item to look like. So we will put in square brackets um, how we want this um, item to be to look like when we reference to it. So let's say I want to put the information about the author and the information about the year, something like this. So we need to put that for each item. So in the second author, so the second item as well, square brackets and how they're going to look. In this one specifically, there are many other items, uh, many other authors, and I want it to look something like this. Once we do that, we can start using the specific commands from NatBib package, which is the site T for textual uh, referencing and site P for parenthetical referencing. Let's say first we want to use the site T um, command, which is uh, something that we can write something like this. We want a direct reference or a textual reference to this uh, specific item. Uh, let's say that in this other uh, citation here, we want to use the parenthetical or say the indirect uh, citation. Let's see how they look like. Always remember to choose it twice, to build it twice when you're doing something. So the textual or the direct uh, referencing will look like that. So the name and the other information that we chose, which was the year. And the parenthetical uh, citation will look like this, between uh, the limiters here and all the information that we chose before. So let's say we don't want square brackets, but we also, but we actually want parentheses. So we can use the round option here. Let's see how that looks like. So see now we have this textual referencing like this, in parentheses enclosing the year of publishing, and this parenthetical citation we have it like here. You see there's an extra space here, we can change 
we can fix that by eliminating this space here in our uh, brackets for the pip item command. If we build it like this, again building it twice, we'll see that there's not that space here anymore. And it will look like that. You can also, instead of square or parenthetical, you can use different types of delimiters, like curly braces, for example, if you want it to look like that. There are other types of commands or variations of commands in NatPip for us to use the site commands. There is this site out, for example, which will not put uh, anything regarding the limiter, so there's no round or square brackets around this. So maybe if you want to fine tune and say, look, I want my parenthesis to look like this, you can use this site out command for this sort of behavior. So there are many other options for the NatPip command. I encourage you to uh, do a web search for NatPip to see all the other options are there to fine-tune how your references will look like.